she's spending her money. Portia Williams asked judge to toss out Simon Guavadia's motion to obtain her RHOA contract and financial records in a pending divorce. If that is his name, if Simon Guavadia is his name. Portia met, met her match. Look at them, the serial, serial number teeth. <laughs> Come on, serial number teeth, just smiling. Mm hmm. Running you low. That's what you get. Somebody says um, Portia deserves Simon. She does. She does. Portia Williams is fighting back after her strange husband. <laughs> Simon Guabadia, if that is his name, um, it requested to speak with the Real Housewives of Atlanta producers as evidence in their divorce battle. Let me tell you something. If truly original protected Portia and her image from millions of viewers, so much so that they loved her, they thought that she was being mistreated in some way and she was just the goofy, goo goo dummy that didn't know what was going on and, and Kenya was the villain. Do you think they're going to help you? Do you think they're going to help you? As much as they try they're in for I don't know how many seasons to protect the image of this buffoon, do you think that they are going to help Simon Guabadia, if that is his name? with the court and divorce proceedings. Do you think, what do y'all think? According to the recent report from Radar Online, Portia Williams, <laughs> William, what's the other nigga's name? Um, Cordell Stewart, William Stewart Guabadia. What other last name she got, girl? She's a mess. You really, you really, you really thought the Guabadia was, a, it's Portia Williams is not coming back to RHOA. Portia Guabadia is, girl, is that your last name? Is it really your last name? <laughs> You thought Gorbadia had more worth than Williams, girl. <laughs> and your grandfather's in the history book. This motherfucker is in the court court books, in the mugshot folder. He's been scamming since when? Since Portia was born. Portia was in a tricycle and diapers and Simon was scamming. And she grew her stupid ass up, grew up to marry a fucking scammer and then changed her last name from Hosea Williams Jr., civil rights activist, to Simon Gorbadia, Nigerian scammer. <laughs> Is this your queen? <laughs> Love wins. Love wins, honey. Love wins. <laughs> As previously reported, the 59-year-old Nigerian entrepreneur, girl, Nigerian scammer, filed a motion to have all communications where Portia Williams spoke about him and RHOA producers be tuned in, including storylines for the coming seasons. In addition, Simon asked that the producer testify about her income as a cast member from 2022 to 2025, including her contract amid her return for the season 16. You didn't know you was going to be a mark. You've been a mark since the beginning, but you're so stupid. You're so stupid and thirsty running around like a bitch in survival mode, quitting all your goddamn jobs to sell bundles and sheets, to be with a Nigerian scammer and traits all over the globe until the money runs out. Now you want a divorce. <laughs> now you want a divorce. And he's like, no, bitch, you the mark. You've been the mark this, this whole time. This whole time while you live in lavish, let your daughter sit on my lap. Yeah, I ain't never forgot that. That's your queen. That's your queen. She let her daughter sit on a, this nigga's lap. Don't even know this motherfucking man. And Dennis, I'm looking at your ass crazy because I would have said something as soon as that fucking picture of, of PJ sitting on Simon's lap hit the Internet. Uh, uh bitch. Bring her back here to the United States. She don't need to be sitting on no lap in no private jet for nobody unless she's sitting on Diane's lap or motherfucking. Um, what's her sister's name? What's her sister's name? Mia. I don't know what her sister's name is. Portia and I'm thinking about Mallory. Who that, that's Cynthia's sister. Um who is um I don't know Portia's sister's name. Anyways, girl, I'm thinking about Mal. Well Mal was about to whoop Candy's ass <laughs> down at the pillow talk. I'm telling you now, I will fuck Candy up tonight. <laughs> Shout out to Mallory. <laughs> Candy said, Ooh, oh, oh, hey, I got this. I tried to break them up. You put your hands on me. That's what man, you man. Candy, you got businesses. You got businesses. Oh, my God. Candy, don't do that. You know, wait. And another thing, speaking of candy, Ace is in them, y'all. I was like, is that Ace, motherfucking Tucker? <laughs> yes. Shout out to Ace Tucker. He is in that scary movie, them. Yes. I was like, is that Ace? You know, Ace give you old man, give you Capricorn, big Capricorn energy, old man energy. He look like an old man. He been looking like an old man. So you shout out to Ace getting his fucking sad card. I know that's right. He was in the last time I saw Ace, he was in a KFC commercial with his mama. I said, I know that's motherfucking right. Shout out to the Burrises, honey. Todd Burris, Ace Burris, uh huh. Uh, Riley Burris, Blaze Burris, and what's the other one? How many babies they got? And they got some. They got some dogs over there too. Everybody's last name is Burris over there. You too, Todd. <laughs> Y'all get so mad. Y'all start. She's talking about Todd. She's talking about Todd. She's talking about Todd. <laughs> Y'all be 
ready to save a nigga. <laughs> Girl, let me go. I gotta go. <laughs> Girl, I gotta go. Uh, this is about Portia anyway. How do I get, honey, give me an opportunity. <laughs> the document read, the subpoena broadly suggests requests contracts, amendments, and memos of understanding financial documents, all communications, photographs, videos, recordings, tapings, footage, or filming, none of which is relevant to do with the divorce, or at least no bias has been shown thus far. Portia don't want her business out in the street, but want her business out in the street. Goof. She is. When I tell you, that's a goofy bitch. <laughs> I never, I don't ever see it for Portia. Never. You don't quit your job to sell bundles and sheets, girl, to be with a Nigerian scammer, having your little baby sit on that man's lap. Girl, now you, now, now this. Now you want to film in the house. You've been kicked out again. Next time, don't get married for a check. Check out now. You put your ass out. Next time, don't get married for a check. <laughs> I thought I was kidding you more. <laughs> Kenya said that. I didn't even say that. Kenya said that next, next time. So basically, you was Cordell's beard. <laughs> oh, you basically admitting that you were Cordell's beard. You <laughs> Portia Portia didn't know she'd been a mark this whole time. That's why when Simon and that fucking snooze bar, she got tried to get on the show, when she get, get that whack ass Halloween party in that empty ass house, <laughs> girl, y'all have motherfucking fucking things up so people couldn't see the rest of the house and people had to walk in through talking about it was a haunted house. No, you didn't want people to see, the, you didn't want people to see that house. Snooze bar and Simon Gwabadia, if that is his name, they put out, go search Fallon, well, before then, because now it's too many other stories out. But when they first came on the scene, if you search Simon and that, I don't even want to say her name because she's so when she she's whacker than Portia. Her and Portia ain't they kin. They kin to me. They are the same person. And you think you about to get what you think you about to get? You about to get less than what Fallon got. You, I don't know why Portia thinks she deserves any part of Simon. I don't go up for no nigga, but bitch, just because we got married doesn't mean that you have that you have half of my house now. What what fucking math are you doing, bitch? What did you think you was a Portia? You've been the mark since the beginning. Back to my point, Snooze Bar and Simon Gorbadia, if that is his name, girl, they had, you know, them fake ass websites that you go to and you see a bunch of ads just all over. You kind of see them when you go to like the, um, the like uh, bootleg to go watch like the, the movies, when you watch movies online, when you pirate movies online and you have those little random ads on the side talking about foot fungus and shit like that. If you search their names back in the day before they, or before all of this came out, before we got introduced to them. They had a bunch of pages, like they went out and bought ads on a bunch of these fake ass websites. Yes. So she wasn't her pretty face, right? Because she's a pretty vase, just empty, no water, no flowers, just a pretty vase sitting there, posted looking, right? Nothing in it. Y'all know that's the only reason why she's in our face, because you think she's pretty. Pretty privilege will get a girl a long way. She can be an empty fucking toolbox, an empty toolbox with just nuts rolling around in the toolbox. And y'all will still prop that hoe up. Just to have her look a certain way. Cause she offers absolutely nothing. That's why she was a one. See, she didn't even get a, did she give a, get an intro? She didn't even get an intro, girl, bye. You thought she was going to put you into the limelight. You thought, see men will attach themselves to women for social status, right? The same way women attach themselves to men for social status, men do the same thing. Yes, what you think Simon was going before he went out and got them serial number teeth? What he was not, he ne ain't ne he still ain't easy on the eyes. After the serial number teeth, he's pushing maybe a six and a half, maybe at best, at best, at the most. So the snooze bar, I almost called her name, snooze bar did not give you the notoriety. Her part, him partnering with her didn't have the impact. He thought it would. Oh, let me go get this other thirsty ass clown, upside down ass clown. She give him a fist bump. They have been fucking. We didn't told y'all that. Everything that's happening to Portia, she walked right into that shit. Don't nobody feel sorry for you as a woman. No, <laughs> as a woman, nothing. Y'all can pull that card with me, bitch. Because not only were the Yelp reviews out, bitch, you was fucking that man while he was married. That goes against all the things. You will never understand the convictions of a wife. You will never girl, know the conviction of a wife, girl. Ever. Right. Ever. Jay. You don't have a You will never understand the convictions of a, a wife. But you fucking a married man. And you been fucking him, hoe.
But y'all love Portia. Y'all love Portia. You don't have them now. Can't you put your ass out. Y'all love Portia. Everything that's happening to Portia, she walked right into it. Let me read some of the comments. It ain't no fun when the rapper got the gun. She did all that BS. Now look, karma. Why do people sign prenuptial agreements just to turn around and dispute them? It is what it is. Honor the agreement, sir. You're not broke. And the way you've been flexing on social media, you'll have another mansion in no time. He is broke. That's what you dumb dummies don't get it. All these niggas got to do is do like this with a shiny object. And y'all be like, ooh, 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 running around like goofballs, thinking he's going to protect him. He was supposed to protect us. Did she pull one of that? He was supposed to protect us. Girl, shut up. You don't even know that man's real name. Shut up. They are walking karma on both sides. Next time, don't choose choose a man to marry with only your heart because you see the flashing things he parades around as well. Next time, don't get married for a check. And also watch how he treats other women before you, before you jump in there. She knew that. Let me tell you something. Snooze Bar was in the restaurant with the Yelp reviews on the front door. Portia walked in. Fallon was still there. Fallon hadn't even left. Here come big booty Portia with all her teeth in her fucking mouth. Smiling and shit, giggling and shit, acting dumb and shit. Love wins. Hashtag love wins. Fucking loser. You're a loser. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. <laughs> As the world turns and we're still talking about these two, please spare us. Simon is diabolical. So is so is Portia. She met her match. I'm here for Simon. Get out of his home and pay him back the expenses for Portia and her mama, plus displacing his children. Hotel LA and travel fees based on your contract with Bravo and business deal she got. Simon attorney booed to draw all blood out of Portia because she got with Simon off of fake pretense to use him. The unbelievable girl, shut up. That was a spam one. Girl, that's a mess. Sorry, Portia girl. I will never see it for Portia ever. I think she is a joke. The joke along with Sheree. That's why they keep bringing Sheree back. Because Sheree is the joke that keeps giving, girl. Y'all didn't realize that Sheree can get... How many times have you... How, how many times do you get fired from a job? Sheree been fired twice. Girl, you keep coming back. They keep bringing your back because you a joke. Portia, joke. Shamia, joke. Shamia, you whack as hell too. I know Shamia ain't part of this. I just thought her... Every time I think about her and Portia in the mall when Simon and, and was when they were getting Simon and Portia's rings it's giving taken it's giving get back it's giving, what is giving Portia taken. taken it's giving taken <laughs> mm. it's giving look away <laughs> taken for real <laughs> <laughs> Oh, give me some sugar like she got her a fucking prize I don't even know that motherfucker's name and probably bought that ring with some scammer money girl Portia is whack She's dripping with whack juice and she can't get it off, girl. My man, honey, it's my man. Everybody talking about my man, my man. I'm just, oh, I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired, I'm really tired.